Are you a teen or a parent of a teen with autism spectrum disorder that struggles to make friends or feels like they just don't fit in? Well, we've got the program for you. Peers for Adolescents, Program for the Education and Enrichment of Relational Skills. What is Peers? Peers is a group-based social intervention created by Dr. Elizabeth Loggison and Dr. Fred Frankel at UCLA in 2004. And it specifically is a parent-assisted intervention focusing on teaching teens in middle school and high school with autism spectrum disorder the skills necessary to increase overall social skills, focusing on skills needed to make and maintain friendships. Through this program, the teens will learn skills that will reduce their social anxiety, improve communication with others, and teach them how to handle peer conflict and peer rejection. Now, who is peers for and not for? Well, peers is for those who have no friends, has trouble making or keeping friends, do not engage in get-togethers, are teased or bullied because of their social skills, or are not liked by others. Now, Pierce has a criteria for who it is designed for. As you can see, this intervention does not work for those who are nonverbal, cannot function without a one-on-one -on -one aid in a group setting, as well as anyone who has significant behavioral problems towards adults or other teens. If you aren't sure if your teen would fit in this program, before one can be enrolled, there is a phone screener that will go through all of this in detail to make sure this is a good fit for you and your teen. How does Pierce help someone with ASD? Generally, in this population, you'll see deficits in social interactions, in nonverbal communication, and in perspective taking. These are typically things that one would learn from watching others or engaging in conversations. Unfortunately, when someone is socially inept, they are often left out of these situations and miss those opportunities to practice the skills and get the necessary feedback. Therefore, this program teaches rules and gives education on how to handle these social interactions and gives opportunities to practice it right then and there in the meeting and receive immediate feedback from trained coaches. Now, how is peers formatted? It's a 14-week program on average. They meet once a week for 90 minutes. Now, it's a small group style. Ideally, there are 8 to 10 adolescents. This involves meeting with adolescents and parents. So there's one group for the adolescents and one group for the parents. The treatment components involve didactic lessons, behavioral rehearsals, homework review slash assignments, teen activities, and reunifications. The didactic lessons go over topics for each week. The behavior rehearsals gives the opportunity to practice those skills. The homework review slash assignments is the responsibility of the teen and the parent where they will practice those skills outside of the group and the teen activity are the practice within the group. What does the session breakdown look like? Well, across these 14 weeks, the teens will be learning conversation skills, how and when humor should be used, how to appropriately enter and exit a conversation, how to properly host a hangout with friends, how to have good sportsmanship, and lastly, how to handle bullies, bad reputations, disagreements between friends, and bad rumors. Then the intervention will end with a graduation to celebrate all the hard work done. So the main takeaways. Adolescents with ASD tend to have deficits in social interactions, understanding nonverbal communication, and perspective taking. Peers will handle those situations. And PEERS is an apparent assisted intervention focused on giving adolescents ASD an environment where they can learn and practice these social skills, especially making and maintaining friendships. For more information about PEERS, visit that website below.